Um, well, it's a very wide-ranging sale. It's got great posters, got good, good written material, and some nice clothing and guitars. This Elvis shirt here is um, a, a worn. There's one also like this in Graceland. This shirt here was worn um, uh, in the 60s and then donated to a competition for Mirabelle magazine, so it's got very good provenance with it. Uh, the Prince guitar back here was custom made for for Prince um, for the Purple Rain tour. That's a very nice piece. I think probably the uh, John Lennon Yoko Ono tapes. Uh, they were. It was a radio show that was recorded in the 70s, early 70s, um, of John and Yoko, and um, it was five or six hours long when it aired. But there's about 13 or 14 hours of tape, and we've got the original air checks, which is a lot of unreleased material on there, lots of uh, interesting comments. I mean, John was actually delivered a summons. Uh, for when Paul uh, left the Beatles and the Beatles split up, and it was sort of like his shock was, you know, obvious in that that he was like pretty blown away by it. Your friend is is your needs answer. He is your your friend which you saw with love, and it's the whole Elvis's interpretation of some some stanzas in The Prophet by Carl Hilga Brown. It's a, it's a lovely piece. It's a British Airways life jacket, um, and it was uh, customised, in slightly customised, um, for Courtney Love by Kurt Cobain. It's bands that like the Beatles, but they've been there 30 years, still going strong. Elvis, top of the charts today. Um, longevity, interest, cult, uh, cult and social changes, like people that sing about real things, not sort of like airy-fairy sort of Britney Spears type dance bandy stuff, but with a message. <laughs> 